if I hypothetically started carrying myself like I am the hottest person on the planet, who's gonna stop me? And also, you can't really tell me I'm wrong if I tell you I'm the hottest person I know because it's an opinion. So what is the worst thing that could happen if you just start carrying yourself like the, the hottest, the hottest person? Nothing. This is my red flag list. Will it be controversial? I don't know. Let's get into it. This is specifically in dating, but some of these can apply to friendships too. Let me know what you think. Number one, if I'm not allowed to have friends. That is a red flag. Especially if they're like, I don't want you to have any guy friends but me. Mm. If they try to control what I wear, don't you want me to look hot or do you want me to just wear a sack? That's giving very much weird energy. Okay, if they get mad at me for wanting alone time, I love myself dates and I love myself because I'm dating someone doesn't mean that's gonna change. Everyone needs alone time. If you don't type me up every day, I need validation, please and thank you. If you don't get to know my besties, that's a red flag for me. Some people have different opinions on this, but I want you to know my best friends, or should I say best friend? I only have one. Let me know your red flags in the comments. be that girl on a budget i'm gonna share with you guys the things i bought that make me feel like that girl and really boost my confidence let's get into it okay the first thing is cute activewear i got this top with the little crisscross i wear it a lot these leggings have made me feel so productive and cute these makeup brushes have made my makeup look flawless flawless by the way all these are linked to my amazon if you're interested i got a honeysuckle room spray and i use it for my car and my room i'm one of those people where having a clean space makes me feel like 10 times better about my mood i'm not even kidding i've been wearing this set almost every day look at the color these plain like men's hoodies are so cute to just throw on and it makes you look really clean and aesthetic I'm really obsessed with like rosy makeup right now and I feel like this highlighter has been giving me that glow. And for the that girl aesthetic, I've been doing like a natural gloss with like natural makeup and I really like this one. Let me know if I should do more of these. These are safety tips that you need to know. I'm a girl in college and I've learned a few things. Obviously, I want to share it with you guys. I want you to stay safe. So listen up and send this to a friend. Number one, people look for targets who aren't paying attention. So be aware of your surroundings. If you're walking to your car late at night, have the key ready. Honestly, have a way to defend yourself. Whether it's pepper spray out and ready, a taser. I know it seems like a lot, but being prepared is better. Trust me. If you're going out, always send your location to your friends. This is non-negotiable. You guys should have each other's locations, and trust me, it's not weird to ask for your friends' locations if you're going out. Safe. I love you. These are psychology tricks you can use to make your crush like you more. Thank me later. Eye contact. It's hard to keep eye contact because you're nervous, but eye contact helps people trust you more and open up to you more and feel closer to you. Be positive. People are attracted to positive energy, so be the little ball of sunshine that you are. One's crazy. If you try to copy what they do, like some of their mannerisms, it's going to make them like you more. But that one's kind of weird. Let me know if you've tried any of these in the comments. Okay, this is my list of things that only hot girls do. For reference, I am a hot girl. I just know if you do these things, you're hot. Number one, have only one friend. Hot girls don't have time for a social life. We're too busy being hot. And keep your circle small anyway. That's a valuable lesson. Number two, repeat outfits. If you don't repeat outfits, I don't understand you. It's hot to repeat outfits and good for the environment. Cry way too much and care way too much. I cry way too often, probably more than I should. And having a big heart is hot believe in astrology i've never met a hot girl that doesn't believe in astrology sleep with a stuffed animal uh yeah so i heard we're giving our rules for dating i purposely didn't watch anyone else's videos so that this would be completely my own opinion so this might be controversial i don't know location okay i think we should have each other's locations not in like a i'm gonna check it every day type of way but in like a if there's an emergency i need to know where you are password i think we should just know each other's passwords eventually from like watching each other put into our phones and not being secretive about it like if you pull your phone away to put in your passcode i'm gonna be sussed out girl best friend you're allowed to have friends that are girls but they are not your best friend i am like, I just don't understand calling someone else your best friend. Social media, I don't really care. But I like to be shown off and appreciated. Everyone does. Partying. Okay, we don't have to go out together every time we go out. But we should just text, like, occasionally throughout the night. I don't know. Liking girls' pics. It completely depends on the type of picture. Snapchat. I mean, I just want to know who your friends are. But that's about it.
Okay, if you struggle with your body image, this video is for you. Don't skip. Here's some tips to help you stop being so hard on yourself. Number one, your body is supposed to fluctuate. It's not supposed to look the same all the time. And some days you're gonna feel better about it than others. Number two, your body is literally the least interesting thing about you. You have your humor, your brain, your heart. And those are the things we will actually remember about a person. And number three, no one's looking as intensely at your body and your insecurities as much as you are. You are your harshest critic and you should be kind to yourself and grateful for your body because your younger self and your older self would want you to be. How to tell if somebody is genuine. I'm gonna teach you guys things that I wish I knew back in the day. It would have saved me a lot of trouble and fake friends. Always pay attention to how they talk about other people, especially people they call their friends. There's literally never a reason to make fun of somebody who you call your friend. And if they're doing that about someone else, they're doing it about you. Are they there for you only when it's convenient? Or do they make time to be there for you even when it's not convenient? That is a big, big sign. Do you feel like you can actually lean on this person at any hour of the day for help? Because genuine people are gonna be there for you whenever you need them. How to appear more confident. People always say fake until you make it, but no one really explains how to, so I'm gonna help you out. Think about the highest version of yourself, like the version of yourself that you want to be. How would that person walk into a room? How would they dress? How would they look? How would they talk? Think about all those things in your head, the person you want to be, and then start showing up as that person. The reason why fake it till you make it works is because eventually everything you do will become a habit and you won't have to think about it as much. You will just naturally be the person you want to be.